Hello everyone, Zeph Films here. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> we have new stuff coming to the Lifetime subscription. Okay, specifically it's stuff that's coming, that's being added for the Jem'Hadar faction in uh, Star Trek Online. And this video isn't so much to talk about the new stuff. Um, I think I'm going to talk about this stuff when it's released. Uh, I have a Lifetime subscription, so... We'll cover that when it comes out. I'll do a, a, a visual review on the new ship, and we'll take a look at the uniform and all that stuff. The purpose of this video is to uh, show you and talk about all the things that come with the Lifetime subscription. Because I know f trying to find like a breakdown of everything can be a little bit hard, so I want to present everything that becomes unlocked when you get a lifetime subscription and let you figure out on your own if it is uh if it's worth it or not for you to get uh this isn't a video to push you to get it uh, i'm not being sponsored or endorsed by anybody to make this video this is just out of my own volition so a lot of this information can be found on uh, sto.gamepedia if you want to uh look into it more yourself. To start off this video, I'm going to break down the difference between uh, Lifetime and Silver, which is free to play. Um, Lifetime also includes gold, uh, or is, is known as gold. Legacy monthly subscriptions, there's no way for you to get a monthly subscription. It used to be you could either get a Lifetime subscription or a monthly subscription, which was $14.99 per month and then you would get the stuff as you progressed. So at a thousand days of being a month to month subscriber or a gold member, you would unlock like the premium stuff like the ships. Uh, now they've done away with that. They've kept the existing people who are month to month, uh, but really the only way to get this stuff now is to purchase a lifetime subscription. All right, so here we are with a list on the website, uh, difference between gold and silver. On silver, you have a cap of 10 million uh, EC, whereas on gold, cap is 1 billion. You can get the 1 billion cap um, unlocked on silver if you pay 500 zen. Honestly, I think this is a, uh, a, a definitely something you should buy like on your first couple of days if you decide to stay free to play. Um, because if you start selling things on the exchange or you're interested in saving up EC to get ships, if you make anything over 10 million, you lose it. There is no escrow like in Star Wars um, uh, SWOTOR online. I can't remember what it's called, uh, if, what it's expanded out to be. But at least in uh, Star Wars, there's an escrow. So anything over that cap gets stored away in a separate thing. And you have to pay to unlock it. But at least it's not lost. Whereas here, it's lost. So if you end up being a free-to-play player and you win like for example the new freedom class out of an r&d promo box and you put it on the exchange for 1.5 billion you're only going to get um 10 million so yeah uh i also want to say this i think this 1 billion cap has been changed i think it's actually 2 billion for gold anyway uh dilithium refinement uh each is the same 8k um the only difference is gold you have to automatically do it Plus, if you're, I believe this is still accurate, uh, if you're uh, a gold member, there is a duty officer or mission that's available to you where you can refine an extra 1k of dilithium every 48 hours. Um, you get four character slots in gold, whereas free to play you get three. Bridge officer slots, four plus additional two at level 10, 20, 40, four plus one at 30 and 40. So this is just how many bridge officers you can keep in your roster. Uh, you get 96 inventory slots uh, compared to 42 for free. Bank inventory, uh, so this is extra bank space, is 108 slots, whereas you only get 48 uh, shared. So this allows you to move things between your characters. Uh, so gold, you get 20, whereas silver, you get none. Uh, Captain retrain tokens, one free uh, per rank. So every time you level up, um, you get... Uh, a retrain token whereas uh, free to play you have to purchase them a foundry is no longer here that's why i'm starting to think this thing might be a little bit out of date so i'm going to try and uh, correct as i go here uh, standard ships veteran rewards automatic every 100 days so 
Uh, you're, you, if you remember me talking about monthly subscriptions, so every 100 days you'd get something else unlocked, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, whereas free to play, that is nothing that you get. Uh, fleet information, I'm not sure what this is to be totally honest. Uh, priority login, I don't think this has ever been a thing where there's been a queue to get into the game. Uh, yeah. Uh, in game chat, unlimited access, rate limited broadcast, what? Private messages only to friends. I don't know about that. Out of game, XMPP, this has recently been discontinued. Uh, customer service unlimited slash limited. I don't know why you would limit customer service to free to play if you're having an issue. I, I don't know what the differences are there. Uh, Tribble test server. Uh, I can't remember if free to play has access. Anyway, uh, in game voice chat. I didn't even know that was a thing. And then monthly stipend. Uh, so every month on the anniversary when you've signed up for either your monthly or your uh, when you purchase the lifetime subscription, you get 500 Zen, which is the equivalent to $5 pretty much. Uh, free to play, obviously, you do not get that. So, taking a look at the veteran rewards. So, these are things that you get every 100 days. As you can see, yeah, like the snooze about the Gem Hadar stuff just came out. So, this is a little bit out of date. Uh, there's one exception to veteran reward availability. Gem Hadar characters do not have their own veteran ships and cannot claim the veteran ship of their aligned faction. Uh, but now we know that there is a ship coming for them. So, it, um, yeah, we're going to go through this list of 100 days. You should know lifetime subscription. You'll get all of these at once. You don't have to wait 100 days to get this. Uh, so at 100 days, you get a stalwart accolade and title. You get a respec alternate future variant badge, which is this one right here. I'm actually very fond of it. And you get 2% skill point and officer skill point boost. Uh, you'll probably see this if you team up with somebody who's been playing, who has been playing Star Trek Online for a while, and you might see a 7%. Uh, usually that is the lifetime people, and you're getting a 7% boost in your skill points if you're teamed up. That's something that kind of gets shared around the team. Uh, 200 days, you get uh, redoubtable accolade and title. You get an extra ship slot, uh, and then you get some exclusive costumes. Uh, so you get the... Uh, uh, veteran uniform jacket, Odyssey long jacket, which is very nice. That jacket. I love, love, love this jacket. Uh, this is the veteran jacket. This has been around since forever. <laughs> um, it's a little bit dated. Not not my favorite. I'm actually more uh, more in favor of the, uh, the Odyssey long jacket. Uh, you get Klingon shoulder pads, because everybody loves us. Some good shoulder pads. And Republic dress uniform which actually looks pretty snazzy i've actually never tried it out myself and then going over here this will be the gem hadar uniform that will be added that will be uh, uh accessible to people with lifetime subscription or uh who still currently hold a month-to-month -month subscription uh if you're at a th no if you're at 200 days then you'll get this and then at 200 days you get a three percent skill point boost uh, 300 days you get the dauntless accolade uh, extra character slot uh, fireworks, which uh, you've if you've never seen it, you'll probably this is what it looks like when you set it off in space. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> uh, use it at like during ceremonious times or whatever, and then you get a four percent skill point and officer skill point boost. At four hundred days, you get the valiant accolade and you get a full respect token. You get access to the captain's table. To be honest, the captain's table is probably one of the most underutilized things that you get from lifetime subscription it is a separate map with nothing to do i honest i really wish they just would do something exclusive with it i uh, i don't have an idea i don't like to present a problem and not have a a suggested solution for it so I'm just going to leave it at, I wish something would happen. I honestly don't know what. You get some exclusive small crafts, though, at 400 days. You get the captain's yacht that we saw in Insurrection. Uh, and then Klingon, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. The Dujhod <laughs> chariot. And then the commander's gig. And then you get 5% skill point officer skill point boost. At 500 days, you get the relentless accolade. Uh, you get an extra ship slot. Uh, you get the exclusive costume piece, uh, costume piece, which is the Jupiter Veteran Jacket. Klingons get a cape, a shoulder cape to be exact. Romulans get Romulan Admiral Uniform. I 
Actually, let's take a look. Actually, now that I think about it, going back to the Jem Hadar thing, they didn't say if this was... Maybe because they don't really do the month to month anymore, they don't specify whether it be 200 or 500 days. So I don't know which one that one will come out. Anyway, so that's the uh, Jupiter Veteran jacket. Klingon shoulder cape, which you don't really see at all in this picture. <laughs> Jesus. And then I guess the, this Veteran uniform for Romulans. And then that one in silver for the Romulans. And then you get... Uh, Faction-specific uh, environmental suits, which are actually pretty cool. Uh, this one we remember from, I believe, First Contact. Um, and then we got these two fancy for each uh, faction. And then uh, apparently this was removed. 250 emblems. I don't even want to look at what that is, but it's been, yeah. Anyway, uh, at 600 days, you get the magnificent accolade and title. Uh, you get another respect token, two extra costume slots for your space Barbie desires, and a vice admiral ship token. At 700 days, you get the uh, impressive accolade and title. Um, you get a Starfleet Android Bridge Officer, a Klingon in Android Bridge Officer, and a Jupiter Veteran Belt. Weird that there isn't some... Oh, okay. Usually, I'm... Um, yeah, I guess with Romulan, you would pick whether you're Starfleet or Klingon, and then you would claim your specific um, um, faction. Uh, then you get another character slot, you get another respect token, and then you get 5% skill point and expertise boost. Oh, and sorry, I forgot to show this. Uh, this fancy belt buckle thing, that's what you get at, yeah. 800 days, you get Vigilant and Vigilant Vessel Accolade and Title. Uh, the Mugato Companion Pet, which is... This thing, you get one of those, so that's pretty cool. Unique duty officer assignment. Uh, so this was what I was talking about uh, in the comparison between um, uh, Lifetime and Free to Play, that there is an extra mission that you can go to for um, refining an extra 1K of Dilithium every 48 hours. That becomes available to you at 800 days, but lifetime this all becomes unlocked right away uh and then you also get an account bound box for character bound starship upgrade requisitions these starship up upgrade requisitions are the i believe if i remember correctly are the upgrade tokens that bring it from uh t5 to t5u so yeah uh 900 days you get the guardian accolade and title exclusive starship material um exclusive uniform variant um which is, uh, you get the Jupiter Veteran Decorated Gold Jacket Veteran Gold Material for the Jupiter Uniform Pack, if you own it. The uh, exclusive, for the Klingons, you get uh, some fancy wrist gauntlets <laughs> and a belt. And for the Romulans, you get a Admiral Gold Uniform. Uh, so let's just take a quick look. Uh, so that's the, uh, that's for the Feds, that's for the Klingons though that photo looks the same. And that's for the Romulans, which actually looks pretty snazzy. And this is the uh, the veteran skin you would have seen in my visual reviews. It's the one that's got like the blue highlights. Uh, it's reminiscent of the Lucari, just much, much toned down on the blue. And you get another uh, respec token. 1,000 days. So this is where the big stuff comes in. And I can I I am proud to say that I was month to month um, and I earned my way up to the thousand days. This was the happiest day in my or one of my happiest days in my STO life. So you get Starfleet Veteran Accolade and Starfleet Veteran Title, um, Empire Veteran Accolade and Empire Veteran, uh, Romulan Accolade and Republic Veteran Title, Exclusive Ships. You're essentially getting access to six ships, two per faction. Uh, with the addition of the Gem Hadar, it's going to be seven ships, right? Because they don't have a T5 version. It wouldn't make sense to have a T5 version of this ship. Uh, this is the T6. So you will get this Gem Hadar veteran ship if you are a lifetime or you purchase the lifetime. Um, you will get access to this ship. And. All of these ships here so there's the chimera which is the t5 uh ship the peg hook <laughs> which is the klingon and the danos yeah let's go danos so these three here are the t5 ships 
And then there's the T6. We all know the Manicore, uh, modeled and designed by uh, uh, Thomas Maroney. Uh, the Div Divku, Heavy Destroyer. And the Denias. Yeah, let's go with that. Heavy Destroyer. <laughs> so there, that's six free ships right there. Right there. Um, obviously, you're probably going to use the T6 uh, ships more and probably not use these ones at all. Eh, it's fine, but these are the ships that you get. And there is fleet variants for these ships as well. So yeah, so like I said, um, lifetime subscription, you get immediate access to all features of uh, gold subscription and all the veteran rewards. Uh, so the gold subscription, if you want to take a look, is the stuff that we're talking about here. Um, in addition to all that stuff, those are all the rewards. Um, you can create a playable Federation uh, Romulan or Klingon liberated boar character. Uh, for Federation and Klingon, you can do a Talaxian character. And there's also a lifetime badge, which is news to me. Oh, these fancy badges here uh, with the crazy stars on it. Um, get player title, career officer. Uh, official forum title is career officer. On Xbox One and PS4, the lifetime subscription is available within the C Store for a reduced cost compared to PC. Due, con due to console specific legalities, the 500 Zen stipend is not offered. I, I don't know the exact details of what's going on with console stuff and why, but that it is what it is. And here's a little bit of a history of the special event pricing for the for the lifetime subscription. Uh, the standard price is $299.99 US. So. Uh, make sure you go to Google and convert that to your own currency. Lately, we've been seeing it go on sale for uh, $199, so $200, so $100 off. Do I think it's worth it? If you really do enjoy the game, I personally like it. Uh, I'm glad that they're adding Jem'Hadar stuff to the Lifetime subscription. I think it makes it a little bit more appealing. I, I'm not going to sway you one way or the other and say get it or don't get it. This is honestly something that you have to decide on your own. Make sure that your real life bills are taken care of. For me personally, the ships, um, like having access to the Manicor and the other faction um, exclusive ships kind of makes it worth it for me personally. Um, but you really need to weigh, uh, look through these lists. I'll provide a link to the... Uh, the Stopedia, uh, Stopedia thing here for you to actually look through it uh, yourself and um, read more in detail because there is hyperlinks for everything. Um, so yeah, this is something that you need to figure out on your own, but I personally think for me is worth it and I'm glad that I finally have it. <laughs> Yeah, that's the end of this video. I thought I hope you found it informative. Like I said, this is not nobody has asked me to make this video. Full disclaimer, <laughs> I'm not saying go and spend your money <laughs> and get this. You need to make that decision. I'm just talking about the things that you can get cuz it's a it's honestly a little bit over all over the place. Um I don't know if I was looking in the right places on the official forums but i couldn't really find it here i had found it all in the stopedia and it's kind of branched across three different pages so that's why i'm doing this video to kind of just condense it all into one and present you with the information anyway i'm starting to get hiccups now so i'm gonna end this video uh thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye bye